So let's talk about sorting keys in an array. So I've shown you how to sort values. So you put values in an array such as names and then you're able to sort them alphabetically or reverse alphabetically. But imagine if you're doing something more like an inventory type program. So you have a particular product and then you have variations of that product and then you have an inventory count. So at this point what you might want to do is you want, might want to name your keys. So let's say you have something like t-shirts. So you would name the keys orange blue red white so on and so forth and then the value of that key would be the number that you have in inventory so this would be a type of report uh, that somebody might run so that they can see okay in the t-shirts these are our different types of these t-shirts and these are the numbers that we have in inventory that's basically a very a very simple type of script that they run well again one of the things that you want to do is you want to be able to present that information so that the user can can, can read it so it's comprehensible to the user and so one of the things that you may want to do is you may want to sort the keys of an array so that it's easier for the pe person to read so again if you're like with a script that I'm going to show you if you have colors of something like a t-shirt you sort those colors alphabetically and then they can see how many of those particular shirts that you have it's just easier right having having blue become come before orange when somebody's reading down a list just makes a lot more sense to the brain so one of the things that you can do with an array is you can sort by the key not just by the values in the array so with that, let's go over to the computer and I can give you a demonstration of how this works. So here we have a simple script that I created to show you how to sort the arrays by keys called ArrayKeySort.php. As always, we open with the PHP tag and what we're going to do now, so this is going to be like an inventory type simulation. So we're going to create a variable dollar inventory and then we are going to set it to the value of an array. So we're going to use the array function and we're going to open parentheses. Now remember all of this can be on a single line. White space doesn't really matter in PHP. I'm writing it out this way just so it's easier for all of us to read. So once you open the parentheses the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to use a single quotation mark and then we're going to do orange. So for inventory we have something of orange color. We're going to close single parentheses. We're going to do the equal greater sign and then we're going to say we have three of those. So we have three of orange somethings. Then to separate, we're going to use a comma. We always use a comma. Then we open single parentheses again. Then we're going to have blue. Close single parentheses, equal, greater than, and then we're going to set that to a value of five. So we have three oranges, we have five blues, and we're going to keep going. Comma, we're going to have seven greens, we're going to have 12 reds, eight whites, and one teal. Just to show you how this goes, again at the end you don't put a comma, you do put a closing parentheses, and then of course you put a semicolon to close all of this out. So we now he have set the variable inventory dollar sign inventory to this array again these are the keys and this is the value of the key now what we're going to do again just to demonstrate what the array currently looks like is we'll be do print underscore r parentheses and we're going to plug in inventory so we plug in inventory there close parentheses semicolon so this is going to print out the array inventory as it currently looks before we do anything to it of course, we're going to do that whole print break line, so it puts the, the next results on a new line. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to do K sort. So sorts for the values in an array, K sort is sorting for the keys. So it's just K sort, parentheses, again, you dump the, uh, the array in there, dollar sign inventory, close parentheses, and then uh, semicolon. So what this has done, K sort, this will alphabetically sort the array by keys and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the print underscore r and we're going to print out inventory as it now looks of course we do the break break to a new line so it's easier to, to read when we're actually taking a look at this and then now what we're going to do is we're going to do k for key and then just r sort so basically this is just sort and r sort with a k pretty easy to remember then parentheses we're going to plug in inventory here uh, close parentheses semicolon of course then we're going to print r to show what the array currently looks like so this is all that you have to do in order to create a named key array be able to print it out as it is 
you're going to k sort to sort it alphabetically and then you're going to k r sort to sort it reverse alphabetically now we plug all this in you go to silicondojo.com array key sort and this is the result that we get now so the first in the beginning this is how we set it in the the actual script itself right orange blue green red white teal orange blue green red white teal so that's how it was when we plugged it in the values stay the same now when we sort alphabetically we see blue green orange red teal and white so again imagine once we actually show you how to print this out in a report that would just be a lot easier for somebody to read and take a look at because people just assume blue is before green and again we have those we have those numbers there for how many are supposed to be in inventory and then for whatever reason if we want to do a reverse sort uh, based off the keys we now see white teal red orange green blue so again obviously in reverse order so that's really all there is uh, to creating a named key script and then being able to sort it uh, sort it alphabetically or sort it reverse alphabetically uh, it's pretty simple and uh, it really will become valuable once we actually sh start showing you how to print out real reports so that's all there is uh, to sorting by keys in array, in array. But as we start to deal with arrays, what I want you to realize is this is where things get complicated in coding, not from a technical standpoint, but from a mental standpoint. One of the reasons a lot of coders fail or they give up is because they can't work through how they should write out scripts in order for them to work. They know how to create an array. They know how to do variables. They know how to do functions. They know, they know how to type out code that works. But the question starts becoming is, OK, I have to go to a database. I have to pull information out of that database. But what am I pulling that information into? Am I pulling it into standard, uh, standard variables? Am I pulling that information into an array? Am I pulling that information into values of an array? Or should I pull that information to be keys of the array? And this is where people really do start to fail in coding, not from the technical skill set. Right, writing an array is, is dirt simple. I just I showed you how to do it in about three or four uh, videos. There's a couple more, but this is the basic stuff, right? Showing you how to do this takes all about 20 minutes. The real issue that comes with coding is once you understand how to do it, then trying to mentally work through when do you use value keys in array, when do you use named keys in an array, when do you just use variables, when do, you, when do you use these things in order to actually produce a solution uh, that will do whatever it is your customer or client needs you to do? So this is where it starts to get complicated in coding. Again, not from the technical standpoint. This is, this is very easy. A nine-year-old could learn this in a couple of minutes. The problem is, is that mental gymnastics of... Okay, I, I have a list of names, and so if I have a list of names, I'm going to do this. Oh, but if I have an inventory thing, I'm going to do this. But then I have something else, right? It starts to get, that's where a lot of people get frustrated and give up. So learn how to do this and then start playing around. And really the skill that you should be learning now is thinking about how you would use these constructs, thinking about how you would use these options in different scenarios. If you're dealing with an inventory system, what would you ha how do you think you'd want to go about designing that if you're dealing with some kind of again name system or attendance system again an attendance system kind of sort of looks like an inventory system but how you deal with that data may be entirely different so what I want you to start thinking about is how you use the data in different ways and how you think you would go about actually bringing that into a PHP program so that's uh, that's how you sort by keys in PH in, in arrays uh, in PHP, uh, and that's why it matters. And this is this is where it really does start to matter. <laughs>